Welcome to the video lecture series of the subject name web designing subject code is RC052 according to AKT curriculum. So we'll start with from the unit one and this is the very first topic of the unit one and the topic name is basic principles involved in developing a website. So the unit one is divided into the two parts the first part will discuss about the basic principles and the attractiveness of the web designing so how to make a more attractive website that can attract the more customers and users second is the planning process domains and hosting responsive web designing types of websites like static or dynamic websites web standards and w3 recommendations in the second phase of the unit one we'll start talking about the HTML hypertext markup language. So we'll start from the very basic one, the introduction of HTML, HTML documents, basis structures of an HTML document, creating an HTML document, markup tags, heading paragraphs, and at the last line breaks. So rest of the topic of the HTML will be discussed in the unit two. So there were the certain principles and the key points to make the website more attractive that can attract more customers and users so these key points are the look and the feel so it's mean the interface you need to select a very attractive and more generic template which make which gives the feels to user a more attractiveness second your website must be portable so it can be adjustable with the different kinds of web browsers designed for the low bandwidth like so it can be operatable on the different kinds of uh, internet connections like if the users uh, facing some uh, inter some internet issues so uh, it can uh, the your website gives some basic uh, pages with the minimum number of images or with the minimum num with the minimum size of the images so it can be easily open on the web browser similarly the fourth point for the plan for the clear presentation of information so it is related to the clear picturization of the content so all the content should be should should like it should be very feasible and should should be easy to view and it gives some pleasant view so that can user can get more and more information from your website the so last one is your screen resolution so there are some centric different kinds of screen resolution so it is your website can be adjustable with the different kinds of screen resolution because some of the time we open the web similar websites on the web browser with the 15 inches of uh, screens or some of the time we, we try to open it on a big uh, led screens so your website should adopt the screen resolution concept also so the first key point is look and feel the selection of interface is most important part uh, which represents as uh, which gives the more pleasant and which makes your website more attractive so it can so your user can be influenced by your websites and the and important one is the color selection of the text and images it, it should be attractive and easy to adopted by the eye so never use the more more uh, brighter more um, influenced or more dark colors that uh, that never gives the easiness to the user the second point is the portability so your website must be portable so it can be adjustable it can be ported from any one operating system or from any one web browser to the another one so the design should be portable across different operating systems and web browsers it should also be compatible and adjustable in different mobile devices so because of the varieties of different kinds of mobile devices available in this market so it's mean because some of the device having a big screens and some of having a very little kind of uh, the de uh, device screen so your website must be compatible or it can be made within view of the different kinds of mobile screen resolution 
and it, it, it should have some features that it can easy to switch from desktop view to the mobile view. So if your user wants to view your website on the desktop view, it can easily switch from mobile to desktop and similarly from the mobile desktop to mobile. The third point is the key, the third important key point is designed for low bandwidth because in some place of the uh, the country or some places of the cities, uh, some users having they are facing some internet issues. So in in, in the situation of the low bandwidth, if they getting the very low bandwidth, so in that case, if you placed many numbers of images or many high definition images, so it will take too much time to download the image. And until and unless all the images are not downloadable, your website or the content will not be available so might be you can lose the number of customers on the users so always avoid the num la the large number of images or always mm, upload the images with a medium size so it not being very too much high or it not being too 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 low uh, low size so the picture quality cannot be uh, compromised the alternate text should always be placed in the proper location. In some of the times when we we face that, if the particular image it cannot be downloaded down cannot be downloadable uh, at a particular time of instance, so the alternate text will be will be immediately displayed. So in that situation, the alternate text should be available. Design the alternate page that uses the less graphics so that it will download quickly for user with low internet connection. So you can see the example of the Gmail. So if you are facing the low internet connectivity, immediately it will pop up with a slow internet Gmail operations or Gmail web page. If you are having a higher bandwidth of internet connection, you will be redirected to the more uh, graphic, more attractive web page which having a more graphics. So this this kind of functionality should be should be included in your websites. The fourth key point is the plan for a clear presentation of information. So it is important factor that it decides the staying time of a customer on your website. So if your website is not pleasant or not attractive, the customer immediately jump from your website to the other customer's website. The second point is do not use too many color combination and fonts to distract the customers. So your websites, even your all the pages of your website must have a unique or the similarity or uniformity of the color combination you have selected and the font size. So all the, the throughout your all the pages, the font size should be similar or uniform. So always keep important and frequent information on the top so it is a high if you want to attract more customers so what exactly the customers are looking this particular information should be on a top of your website and it can be easily easily finding on your web page direct link should be available to reach to the desired content with one click so it is a very important factor so if a particular customer or the first time they visit your websites if it reaches or if it it gets the content with the one click so it's mean it's always uh, will jump or will always will try to access your website in f near future so break the large paragraph into the smaller ones so to avoid the write the content in a large paragraphs because most of the time it the user having a very short span of time so it always try to get the information from the very smaller smaller kinds of paragraphs so always please keep in view keep in mind so if you write any larger paragraph it is better to use the smaller ones provide a suitable and the bold heading so user can find the content on the first view so it is very important point so if a particular user is looking for a particular content or particular information so if it gets the uh, the content which is desired or which which a particular is looking for if it gets the content on the first view so it mean it puts a very good impression over the user the last one is the content should be separated by the white space or unused spaces. So we have a look on some of the websites. So the content are just 
twisted over the website uh, either there is no sequence although no there is no synchronization between the paragraphs they are having placed so there should be there should be the or the content should be separated by the white spaces so white spaces is the spaces where there is a nothing so it's been at the, the space between any two content which is specified by the by, by like by the division tax also so it is a space between the two divisions separately or two uh, continuous two division tax now the fifth point is the screen resolutions so there is a horizontal and vertical dimensions so your website must be re, must be adjustable with the horizontal and vertical dimensions so, so some of the time if the user is uh, taking the view of on the mobile device so your screen can be converted from horizontal to the vertical dimension similarly if it it's accessing the website over the desktop so it gives the horizontal view so it your website should be compatible with the horizontal and dim, vertical dimensions so there are some popular dimensions like 640 and 480 uh, resolution similarly 800 to 600 and 1024 to 768 which is very popular for the desktop view so these kinds of different kinds of resolution should your website should be accepted so that it can be viewing easily viewing on the different kinds of devices for the mobile and for the desktop and for the larger desktops also so finally for the making a complete website so there are the some very key very important and the key points that's that's uh, your website and all the pages must be adopted so the first is the uniformity so it is very important one the uniformity so all the pages must have the same fonts and the color combination so it is very important the you must need to uh, accept or you must need to use the similar kinds of fonts or the color combination throughout all the pages so if you are disagreeing this particular first point so it it will not gives the good impression over the user so might be user will be distracted or user will be frustrated with the view of your websites so if possible image size should be same and uniform in all pages so it is very another very important point but so most of the time it is not possible so it should be an optional part so if image is if, if if it is possible the image the image size should all be uh, throughout all the pages it should be uniform because some of the time if one of the image is in a larger in the size and immediately the another image is in very very small in size so it it never gives or it never puts a good impression over the user similarly the it is very important to use the grid structure so because grid structure gives the feel of visual structure so some of the time it gives the tabular structures and you can synchronize your data and the user who is looking for the content on your website can easily visualize the structure of your website so better to break the page into the rows and columns right so to include the so grid provides a uniform look or throughout your website so it is a very good one option so if you use the grid grid option or grid structure visual structure throughout your website so it gives a very attractive uh, representation of your websites so similarly in that case so there is the two concepts so you can use a table element so you can use the table element to create a table structure and later on you can just uh, the, uh, you can just put the table border as uh, the uh, none or be it could be a zero so it means it gives the grid structure view similarly if you are not using the table element you can use a frame set to also utilize the build the grid structures so these were the key points that should be keep in mind to design a beautiful and attractive and pleasant websites that will attract more and more customers in futures thank you thank you everyone